competition heating up. All right, meanwhile, are you are you telling me that are we heading back in the teens? What? I feel like it's just a weather whiplash, Lena, that we continue to go through across Northeast Ohio. A tale of two seasons we've experienced this week, and I don't know if you're like me, 40s never felt so good, but it is not what we're going to be experiencing for another few days here. We've had some light snows blow across Northeast Ohio for our Saturday afternoon into the evening hours, all because of course Lake Erie. It's flirting around 32 to 34 degrees right now there on the surface. And because of the south winds we had earlier this week, we've pushed most of the ice north into the lake right now. So we're still tapping into some of that lake moisture there, causing some lake flurries to kind of run about across Northeast Ohio. And frankly, this happened across the Midwest as well. You can see where our front has pushed off the Atlantic coast right now. We got a trough settling on in. That purple, that white, those highlighted colors are just heading south across the air. I like to call it incoming cold. That's what we have across our region, at least for tonight, tomorrow night, and likely moving through Monday as well. Look at our temperatures. You can sort of see this sort of subtle blue dark color tread south across the region. We got surface temperatures in the low 20s right now. Wind speeds are also reflecting that cold Arctic air coming on in. Single digits for the Twin Cities teens for Chicago 24. You can see in Cleveland north winds at five to 10 miles per hour. So those wind chills right now flirting with the teens from Ashtabula all the way down south over to Mansfield 16 feels like 19 Dover Akron Canton 16. It feels like for you as well. So the jet stream is really kind of digging south across the region. This is what's allowing all of this energy to kind of pummel across uh, northeast Ohio and frankly the Midwest. Frigid temperatures will be stretching south all the way down through the Tennessee River Valley area. But by Tuesday and Wednesday, notice what happens here. We lift all of that energy on out of here. We get the cold dragging over towards the west and we have a ridge building across our region. That ridge is going to lift our temperatures. So your National Design Mount, your National Design Mart days ahead forecast will show this trough building on in. You see all that cold energy moving on in here. There's that frontal boundary getting on out of here. We keep the cold around for Sunday heading into Monday as well. Ridge begins to build in late Monday into Tuesday. So temperatures on Monday will stack on top of Tuesday. Tuesday stacks on top of Wednesday and we start warming thereafter. This is good news for the folks over in the West Coast right now. The record for the Super Bowl for tomorrow is 84 degrees and they will likely hit and maybe exceed that. So it's going to be warm for them. A trough will build in here. It'll offer some moisture. It'll calm down those Santa Ana winds and that is what they desperately need across the region. So for midweek for us, quite the warm up indeed. Mid to low 20s on Valentine's Day, sun and clouds, so it'd be a nice cuddle weather. AM sun and even PM clouds expected by Tuesday heading towards Wednesday. Cloudy and breezy on Wednesday with overnight showers. Rain on Thursday, Lena, switching over to a mix, eventual snow, but I think it's out of okay. here by Friday. All right, well, maybe it'll wash away some of this snow and we get ready for All-Star Weekend next weekend. Fingers crossed. Yeah, thanks so much, Jay.